Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday, and welcome back to Morning Prayer. My name is Landon Liker, and I'm the Assistant Director of Youth and Family Ministries. I'm Brooks. I'm the uh, Director of Youth Ministries. And as you can see, we have some guests with us this morning. Would you like to introduce yourselves? You can go first. Um, I'm Addie Paul. I'm going into ninth grade at Ponte Vedra High School. I'm Ellie Goodfriend. I'm going into 10th grade at Ponte Vedra High School. I'm Ava Campbell, and I'm going into the ninth grade at Sand College Prep. Awesome. And um, we are recording this from our Charlotte Mission Week. Um, all of um, our amazing youth, we have about 30 youth here with us up here in Charlotte. And so we just wanted, we're so happy that they're joining us um, all this morning. Um, hope you enjoyed as well. So once again, this morning, we're going to be in our Book of Common Prayer. Um, and we are going to begin on page 80. So I'll give you a chance, grab your coffee, grab your book of common prayer, and we'll begin on page 80. So, y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Okay. Lord, open our lips, and our, our mouths mouth shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. praise. Glory, to, Glory the to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then I'm going to continue on page 81. The earth is, is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And then continuing on page 82, um, we'll be saying the, the Venite uh, responsibly by the asterisk. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let, let us shout for joy, joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us... Come, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God. And a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. And the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. And kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. And now um, we will be saying our appointed psalm um, for the morning. And that is Psalm 30, which can be found on page 621 of your Book of Common Prayer. So once again, that is Psalm 30, found on page... 621. And once again, we'll be saying that responsibly by the asterisk. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have lifted me up. And have not let my enemies triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you. And you restored me to health. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored my life as I was going down to the grave. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks for the remembrance of his holiness. For his wrath endures with the twinkling of an eye. His favor for a lifetime. Weeping may spend the night. But joy comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I shall never be disturbed. You, Lord, with our favor, made me as strong as the mountains. Then you hid your face. And I was filled with fear. I cried to you, O Lord. I pleaded with the Lord, saying, What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my wailings into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. And then back on page 84, we will finish the Psalms. Uh, with our glory. So glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. All right, and now we will go to our lesson for the day, and to, um, today's lesson is from the Gospel of Mark. It's Mark chapter 3, um, starting in verse 19, the second half of verse 19 through, the, through verse 35. Then he went home, and the crowd came together again so that they could not even eat. 
When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul and the ruler of demons, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And he called to and he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter, but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they have said, he has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sending around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my brother, my mother, and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. All right. And now we will continue with the song of Mary, which is number 15 and can be found at the bottom of page 91. So the song of Mary found at the page, bottom of page 91. And once again, we'll be saying this responsibly by the asterisk. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. For this day, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. And has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers. To Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now, continuing on page 96, um, we will <clears throat> say together the Apostles' Creed. So once again, that's page 96 in the middle, saying the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I believe in, in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord. Lord. He, he was, was conceived, conceived by, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And continue with the prayers on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Say the Lord's Prayer together. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And continue with prayer A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. 
Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Now I'll say um, the call for Saturday, on page 99. <clears throat> Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now um, we come to our prayer time. Um, for, the, for those of you joining us on YouTube this morning, I um, invite you to, to offer any prayers in the comment section. Um, and for us here, yeah, if y'all have any prayers, um, you can offer those up um, now. And we pray for all of our youth here, um, each and every one of them is absolutely amazing, and I just give a prayer of thanksgiving for them here this week, and for our safety um, and safe travels going home tomorrow. For those who feel unseen, those that we've worked with um, this week during our mission week here in Charlotte. For those who feel unaccepted. Cuba. Dear Creator, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity uh, to be together with us here, to be together with you online. We just ask that you continue to bless us. We offer all of our prayers said aloud, said in the chat, said in our hearts. We just ask that you be with us, you be with us that need your love. And help us to spread love always. And we ask this all in your name. Amen. 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 All right. And now we will go down to the general Thanksgiving, which can be found on page 101. <clears throat> So the general thanksgiving and we'll say this together almighty god father of all mercies we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made we bless you for our creation preservation and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And continue on the next page with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, 
you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Well, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for joining us online. And we hope you have a great day. Um, and we'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.